us this morning. We've got MSNBC national affairs analyst, co-host of Showtime's The Circus, and editor-in-chief of The Recount, John Heilman, New York Times Washington bureau chief, Elizabeth Bumiller, and former acting U.S. Solicitor General, now an MSNBC legal contributor, Neil Katyal. Neil, let me begin with you. You covered the Russia investigation so closely. This goes back to conversations that General Flynn had during this transition in late 2016, talking to the Russian ambassador about easing sanctions and saying, don't worry, we know the Obama administration expelled some people. We'll take care of that. What is your view of prosecutors, despite the fact they had two guilty pleas here, withdrawing its case yesterday? I think it's outrageous and indefensible and one of the greatest threats to the rule of law that the Trump, Trump, that Trump has done in his three years. I mean, this is really serious stuff. You've got a guy who was formerly the president's top aide, the national security advisor, who twice pleads guilty in 2017 and 2018, saying, look, I did it. You have the president at the time saying, look, you lied not just to the FBI, but to the vice president, and I'm firing you. And then... Yesterday, the Justice Department just decides all of a sudden to drop this prosecution. Um, you know, it's such a corrosive thing to the rule of law, the idea that justice is supposed to be blind, that you don't get third, fourth, fifth looks by prosecutors just because you happen to be Trump's friend. And now there's one form of justice for Trump's pals and one form for the rest of us. And that is, you know, the most corrosive thing one could imagine to the rule of law. And John Heilman, you, you, Margaret Brennan has tweeted out that on Face the Nation back in 2017, uh, she has a clip of Mike Pence. Yep. Mike straight, Pence straight saying to her face. at the same time, I can tell you that Flynn lied to me and the president did the right thing. So you got the president saying, I had to, I had to fire Flynn, he lied. You have the vice president saying, Flynn lied to my face. He had to be fired. You had Flynn going to the court twice saying, I'm guilty. I'm guilty. And now here we are a couple years later. And suddenly it's the FBI who are scum. It's the FBI who are commit committing treason, according to Donald Trump, when the president the vice president and Michael Flynn himself admitted he was guilty and yeah. had to be fired. Yeah, um, I, I, I couldn't agree more with my friend Neil Katyal about um, there have been so many depredations and so many abuses and so many things that have, have troubled me and I think should trouble everyone, Republican, Democrat, conservative, liberal, about the way that justice is prosecuted and not prosecuted in this administration over the course of the last three or so years. But I really think that this one is right at the, at the pinnacle of things that should be disquieting to people who think that, uh, the, who, who rely on the notion that the Justice Department in some measure still uh, pursues justice uh, in, an, in an apolitical way. And I think it's just so, you know, that I have said since, since the Attorney General came in, since Bill Barr became Attorney General, that he is just, he's, be, he's, the, he's the, easily the most troubling member of, of the, the Trump administration. I think it's been obvious that he's been pursuing a totally political agenda from the moment he walked in the door. We've talked about it a hundred times on the show, Joe. You know, you know the, the exercise of raw power that Barr, uh, executed on Donald Trump's behalf with respect to basically throttling, killing, uh, spinning, destroying any public uh, prospect of the Mueller report being read in the proper way and, and, and read for what it said, by I mean the proper way, read for, for the words on the page. Uh, was one of the most extraordinary exercises of raw power I've seen on the part of an attorney general serving just a purely political, mm -hmm. personal interest of the president's. This is, is in that category. You know, you pointed out that what, what the, the, the history is here, but not remembering, not, not the, or leaving out what happened after Mike Pence and Donald Trump said those things and sent those tweets. What happened after that was throughout, we've heard Trump on his Twitter feed, in, in interviews, in press conferences, expressing sympathy for Flynn, saying that he wished that he saying Flynn was a good man, saying that Flynn was mistreated, was maltreated. So he's dropped hints. We've seen this in some sense coming for the past 
couple of years, and yet you thought there was no possible way that any attorney general, given these circumstances, given the convictions, given the repeated admissions mm -hmm. of guilt, given the plea agreements that they led to, all of those things that you could walk in and somehow get out of this, uh, and yet here we are. And so I, I just think it speaks to lawlessness, lawlessness at the top of the nation's top law enforcement agency and an agency now operating in a purely political totally uh, a totally political and a uh, way in which in the pursuit of political ends is total or abuse of power in the most naked way is just the, yeah. the, the order of the day now at the DOJ. Well, and, and it's been that way. I mean, Bill Barr has 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 let Americans know that he was corrupt, that he was a liar. He didn't care. He did not care because, as he said in that interview, might makes right. Hey, the winners get to write history. And so he thinks that's his, I mean, that's his view of justice. You, you look back at the Mueller report, too, because I just can't, I can't let it go. Uh, uh, it just passed by the president, lie through his teeth to the American people. I know Donald Trump thinks that his supporters are stupid idiots, just bumbling rednecks. I've heard, I've heard him. I've heard him talk about, in insulting ways, about people from Alabama, mocking people that went to the University of Alabama like I did talking about their stupid accents. I've heard this from Donald Trump. He thinks people that support him are stupid and dumb. And I, I just, I'm going to stand up for him and I'm going to defend him this morning because, because he, not only is he lying to them, but he had Barr lie to them. And, you know, Mika, what's so sad is that, that, that Barr yeah. uh, twisted all the words. He twisted the words from their proper context. They re he retched the words from their proper context and in, in the Mueller report. Uh, and, and, you know, now they're desperately trying to stop information from getting out to show just how badly he lied to the American people in his letter summarizing that. They're begging the Supreme Court uh, to, 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 to make it as, 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 well, to cover it up, basically, is what they're trying to do. And, and, here we see Barr still at it. Mm. And, and, and now, again, he pushed to get a man released that the president of the United States said lied to the FBI and the vice president had to be fired. The vice president said lied to his face uh, about meetings with Russians and had to be fired. And so here we are a couple years later. Donald Trump's now calling them, quote, scum, law enforcement officers, scum. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.